try. Hmm. Oh no, Sakura is burning here. I urgently need to put it out, otherwise this whole beautiful forest will burn down! Hi everyone! Today let's play a game of Minecraft with Game Mode Hardcore. Let's see if we can survive in this world. Hey hey, Minecraft Hardcore? Family, we can do it. We have played a lot of Minecraft and with this experience it will be hard to die, right? Hey kids, of course we can do this. We know Minecraft like the back of our hands. <laughs> Alright, let the game begin. Oh, that's great. Make a world, I'm ready. I'm ready too, let's do it. Alright, uh-huh. As long as everyone's ready, I'm creating a world. World name Peppa? Game mode hardcore? I've created a world. You can come in now. Uh-oh, who's the little one here, a puppy? Sweetie, are you lost? I wish I had the bones to tame you. You got yourself a pet? Nice. Peppa, you'd better not get distracted because this is hardcore and you need to prepare for the night. The mobs here can be surprising. Yeah, I agree. Just got a little distracted for a second, but it's okay now. I'm getting my first tree to make a wooden pickaxe. Peppa, we're going to do things really fast now, because this is hardcore. So let's talk about what we need to do first of all, to survive in this seemingly harmless world of Minecraft. Alright, come on. And so, the first thing we need to do is cut down a tree to make a crafting table and sticks for tools. Then we make our first pickaxe in the crafting table using the wood. And after the pickaxe, quickly find a stone and get it for stone tools. And after that, find food in a bed. Food is needed for what is clear, to restore health and to have energy to run. And the bed is needed to wait out the night, which is unusually dangerous at first with game mode hardcore. It's like this. Well done, Peppa. Great job learning the perfect first step in all survival in Minecraft. After all, when something you like to learn something, you can learn it with great speed. <laughs> the wooden pickaxe is ready. Now we need to find the stone. No, I'll make another one, a wooden axe, just to have, just in case, and the table for crafting will break faster with it. Daddy, how are you doing? Did you make your stone tools yet? Or maybe you found some food? Almost. The stone tools I did make, but food's a problem. We're camped in an oak forest. There's no watermelons here like in the rainforest, but maybe we'll get lucky and find a village with hay for bread. That would be very good. It's not that hard to find a village though. Hmm. Maybe you can compare it to diamonds. It seems to me about as rare to find a village. Come on. If there is one, you could just miss it and go in another direction and not find it at all. Although maybe it was right under your nose. You can really miss something big right under your nose. Wow, I found a destroyed portal right next to our spawn. It's almost complete, only missing one block of obsidian. Great luck. Nearby in the chest, there is a golden apple, golden hoe, golden breastplate and steel and flint. Not bad. Could be a lot worse. Eh, that's right. How could I not see the huge portal right next to me? Well, that's a little bonus for you, mummy. With a golden apple, you can survive an extreme situation. Though it won't save you from a blast from a creeper that alone can kill without armor. <laughs> I have the armor now. One blast should save me. The golden apple is very good. With it, I can quickly regenerate my health if I'm surrounded by mobs. As long as you find a portal near the spawn, I found the village after running a fair distance. Now I have plenty of food and I don't have to think about it. It's great, isn't it? You found the village yet? Wow, you're a fast daddy. I've always wondered how clever you are at playing games. Mummy's good too, so quick to learn how to play Minecraft, although it took a lot of effort for me. George actually got into the game for the first time and killed a dragon in a couple of hours. How he did it is just unimaginable. <laughs> George is pretty good at board games, too. Little genius. Maybe it's the way he approaches everything. He loves it, and he does it with a lot of zeal. I think that's why he's good at it. Just like we're doing now. We play Minecraft, and we like it, so we're good at it. I wouldn't say I'm very good at Minecraft. 
I could easily die on the first night and go make dinner while you all play. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Don't be pompous. You're the one who taught us how to play. Without you, we would not have known that there is such a wonderful game as Minecraft with its huge open world and a million opportunities to realize all their fantasies in reality. Well, as in reality in the game world, but it's cool. Daddy Peppa is right. You are great for your years playing games and understand the trends in video games. I can't do that, no matter how much I want to. From my age, I'm not that old. I'm so young at heart that I can understand what children need and give them what they want. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The youngest among us. I found myself some iron and I'm thinking about what to do with it. Two iron is enough for a hoe, but why you don't need an iron hoe, I don't know. Can you tell me what to do with the iron? Two iron won't be enough for much. As an option to save this iron and find after more and make yourself, for example, armor. It will protect you properly and won't break quickly like my gold one I found. Hmm, that's it. All right, well, maybe that's the smart way out. Two iron really isn't enough to make a useful thing. All right, then I'll find some more iron. Alternatively, you could make shears. It takes just two iron, and there's a lot of usefulness in it. You can shear sheep for wool, and from wool and wood you can make a bed. With a bed will be great to sleep at night and hide from mobs. Hmm, that's a good one. I made myself an iron pickaxe, but I still have iron. Making shears would be great. A bed is a very necessary thing. I need some iron too. I'm gonna jump in here. Ouch. There's a skeleton here. It hurts so badly when it hits. Oh no, I could die right now. I have to hide quickly. Uh, okay. It's all right, I don't wanna waste a golden apple. I gotta get out and find some decent food to recuperate. It could get worse, so I'd better save the golden apple for later. That's right. If you've escaped from the skeleton and are safe now, you should slowly make your way to the surface while it's still daytime and look for food. Finding a village will be the best option, but in case of emergency, you can gather seaweed in the ocean and roast it. It will help you at first if you are very hungry. Ouch! Skeleton! Ah, uh, I'm so unlucky. Just as I was about to leave this cave, he stood up. Good thing I blocked him off in time. I'll just keep going up, just mining up. What are you risking so much? I found some iron armor in the village forge, but I don't intend to go down that far. It's very easy to stay down there forever, which I don't want to do. Be careful, ladies. For me, it's not a risk, but part of passing. I just need adrenaline to live to enjoy survival. Mummy, what do you think? I wasn't thinking of taking any chances. I just saw a cave half under the sun and thought there wouldn't be mobs there, and jumping in I was immediately greeted by a skeleton. I wanted to find coal or iron, but I found trouble. It happens sometimes. Ah, that's how it is. I see. I've been in these situations too, don't worry. Finding food is very important right now. Oh yeah, there she is. Found her after all. Uh huh. that was fast. I'm gonna find some food and I'm gonna be fine. I found the village too. The three of us found three different villages. That's cool. <laughs> what? George, you found a village too? How many villages we have around here is ridiculous. I found the Sakura, a pink tree. It's very beautiful. Wow, I've only seen a tree like that in creative. To see it in the world must be very impressive. It's like I'm in a magical world. The beauty is off the charts. Wow, there is a cat in the village. Meow, cute. Great, I got a lot of food. I made myself bread from hay. I was seriously unlucky. There is no hay in my village. How can I find food for myself now? Tell me. Try. Hmm. Oh no. Sakura is burning here. I urgently need to put it out. Otherwise, this whole beautiful forest will burn down. Do your best. If there is no water, there is only hope for your hands. Go ahead, Daddy. You can do it.
I was able to save the whole forest, only one tree burned down. I was lucky that I was walking nearby and saw. Okay, I'll sleep. Otherwise the mobs won't let me go down from the tree at night. You did everything you could. You're my hero. I really like rose trees. They are very beautiful, and the house of them is just wonderfully beautiful. Speaking of houses, it's time for us to build our homes for survival. Things in the inventory are being added and added. You need to make yourself a place to rest and store things. Oh yeah, I'm already doing it. I found a good place on the mountain, a small flying island. My house will look great here. Now I have a place for a house. I already have everything for the house. I got a lot of rosewood, sand, everything is ready. We are developing quite fast. We already have everything you need for your home. We went to the mine and extracted a lot of ores. I consider this walkthrough with game mode hardcore a success. Wait a little longer, we're not done. What if there's a creeper behind you right now and successful completion will turn into a complete failure? Ha ha ha. There is no one around here. Why so frightened? Well, I think now that we are all ready with armor and food, it will be very difficult for mobs to defeat us. Besides, we are strong players, right? I'm starting to build the foundation for my house. I'm thinking of building a small house. Why do I need a huge one? I've already built most of the house. Mummy, have you started building a house? Not yet. But I am now in search of the perfect place for my home. I want a beautiful house on the seashore, to go out and look at it or even go on long voyages and return to the house by boat. My dream. Yeah. This place seems to suit me well. There is everything I need here and a village nearby. Great, I'll build up here then. The construction of the house is in full swing. The first floor is almost finished. It's time to make a floor for yourself. I have an idea to make a floor out of wool but an unusual coat. It will look strange, white on pink. I'll do this. I'll paint the wool pink, and I'll find the dye in the Sakura forest. There's a bunch of leaves on the floor, and you can make pink dye out of them. I think pink wool on the floor will look great. Wool as a floor? Hmm. Sounds very nice. Moreover, the house itself is made of rosewood, although if you think about it, it won't look too monotonous. I don't even know what color would suit a rosewood. It would be strange if Daddy left the floor pink wooden, so the wool in my opinion will look great. Okay, thanks for the reply. After all, the wool will look good. I don't want to bother about the house at all today. I'll build myself a box out of ordinary oak wood. If he plays hardcore next time, I'll make myself a better house. Huge for our whole family. And how are you doing with the glass? I forgot about it and had to go from the mountain to the very bottom to take 12 blocks of sand on the glass. That was a problem for me too. I built a house on the mountain just like you. I had to run downstairs. It was necessary to take the sand as it was coming here, but I keep forgetting about him. Well, I did not forget that a furnace is needed for glass and took a furnace from the village. I live on a beach full of sand. It's not a problem for me to find sand. I also have a stove along with a stone from which I can make myself several furnaces and make glass faster. Oh yeah, Daddy and I sacrificed this in order to live in the mountains as hermits. I live near the most beautiful Sakura Forest. What could be better? Sakura Forest near the seashore. How do you like this one? And all this on a sheer huge rock, just a fairy tale. I'm starting to make a roof. I have very little left and the house will be ready. I think not to make a roof. Why do I need it? If I want to build just a box for a while, then I will demolish it all and build a normal house, as I already said, it will be huge. It was very stressful to play today. Constantly thinking that we have only one life and a random creeper can ruin everything. Minecraft can be a horror. Oh yeah. Today's adventure is no match for the others, just one in a lifetime. I've only just thought about it. After all, we could have made a mistake at the beginning and started playing a new in a new world. Agree. Unique emotions. And after all, we coped with the whole family. We were able to overcome the most difficult beginning in Minecraft. 
I think we were immensely lucky that we all found villages with food and got all the resources we needed without any problems. I have made the roof, Daddy, how are you? I'm just about to start making it. Let's speed up, Peppa. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and put likes. Don't forget to write a comment what you think about our videos. Bye everyone! It was fun to play hardcore mode. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. We had a good time together. Bye everybody! <laughs>